You want to make your identity as large as possible, that's the idea. We would like to make this identity cosmic, but we don't know where is cosmos, so at least make us… make it global. Because now if your identity is like this, your memory, your intelligence together will combine and try to address everything from a larger identity. Everything that you call as evil, everything that you call as crime, everything you call as corruption is essentially limited identification, isn't it? Yes. I'm fighting for my country and I'm willing to kill you. I don't know who the hell you are, but I'll kill you. This is the whole thing, isn't it? Because I'm identified with my country. And what is my country? Somebody drew a map and told me, this is your country, this is you, only this way you are you, otherwise you are not you. So I'm so strongly identified with my country, I'm willing to kill the whole world for the sake of my country, or my community, or my family, or myself. If it's myself, people will say, see, he's a selfish man. If he's family, in America it's very appreciated, <laughs> in India it's seen as corruption. <laughs> <laughs> I will fight for my family, in America it's a good quality. I'll fight for my community, is a good thing for somewhere else. I'll fight for my nation, is largely good almost everywhere in the world. But if your identity is beyond all these limited identifications, then your intelligence will function in a completely different way. So this hand which holds the knife and which is rooted in the memory, this is not taken care of in modern societies. We are all standing up and singing national anthems. Well, uh, I started writing a global anthem uh, almost ten years ago. I announced this in the economic forum and I said we should do a global anthem. Why are… why are children not learning a global anthem? Okay, they can sing their national anthem, but they must… every… every child in the school all over the world must sing a global anthem, identifying with the planet, identifying with humanity and every other life on this planet. Because only then their intelligence will work for everybody's good. Otherwise, at any cost I want to be good, I don't care what the hell happens to you. I will not, because my identity is like this. Don't think they're good people, bad people. They're just identified with that. So there is good and bad, it just depends on what we are identified with. And it's a good people who are always fighting, bad people don't fight so much, they just still maybe c cause one murder here, there, but they make their money and they sit somewhere and enjoy their life. Bad people, criminals, I'm saying. Good people, it is a good Indian who is willing to fight with a good Pakistani. It's a good Christian finding, fighting with a good Muslim. It's a good American fighting with almost anybody. Just ev everybody is fighting because they're good, but good something identified with a limited something and you're good with that, isn't that the basis of all the conflict? My religion versus your religion, my nation versus your nation, my community versus your community, my race versus your race, endlessly it's gone on. The whole problem of everything is limited identity. I'm telling you, extreme versions of this is Adolf Hitler, all right? Mm -hmm. Extreme versions is Adolf Hitler. but. Just look around and see, there are a whole lot of them around you, but the only thing is they're not as powerful as him, fortunately. Yes or no? Yes. Limited identity means naturally you are going to do something else to somebody else, because your identification is like that. So in India, as part of the yogic culture, this was the thing in the past, not anymore. Zero to twelve years of age, a child should just eat well, play, sleep well, that's all, no teaching. At twelve, education begins. Before he starts his education, because education is seen as a huge empowerment, before he starts education, he must shift his identity to a global or cosmic identity. First thing is aham brahmasmi, that means I am everything, mm -hmm. not this or that. I am everything in the universe is me. Without taking that step, without that initiation, there is no education, because education is empowerment. See, today tell me, are educated people causing more damage to this planet or uneducated people ca causing more damage to this planet? Educated. 
educated people, because they're empowered, isn't it? Empowered, but their identifications are limited. They have no identity with other creatures on this planet, so they're just obliterating them altogether. And they don't even think they're doing anything wrong, all right? They don't think they're doing anything wrong, because they're doing good things. So that is how identity is, and that's how important it is, and we've just not taken care of that in modern societies. So